Welcome back to Automation of the Week. My name is Brian Hayes, and every Tuesday we'll release another video showing you how to create an automation in Salesforce. This week, I'm going to show you how to stop leads from being forgotten. The way we're going to do this is by creating a simple automation that's actually really powerful. It'll look at when a lead was last updated, and if it's been a week since it was updated, it'll send an email to its owner to remind them to reach out. Now, of course, with great power comes great responsibility, and so I would advise restraint. You don't want an email going out every day to salespeople about leads that they're still working on. So make sure that you're only creating this for really important leads or for leads in particular statuses. Still, this is a useful recipe for you to know, and you can certainly do this with leads. You can do it with opportunities as well to make sure that those don't get forgotten either. So we're gonna create two things to make this happen. The first is a formula field on the lead record that calculates how many days it's been since it was last updated. And the second is the flow that's gonna send that email. One of the unique things about this flow is that it's a scheduled flow. So it's going to run every single day and find leads that match its criteria to send out that notification. And that's where you have the most control to filter out what sort of leads should be involved in this automation. Let's start by creating the formula. Click the object manager in the upper left of the setup area and then pull up the lead object. I'm just gonna do a quick search for it here. In our object menu here, choose fields and relationships and then click new. Our new field is gonna be a formula field. It's here near the top. And then click the next button in the lower right hand corner. I'm gonna call this days since updated, but you could also do this same thing with the last activity date. And so it could be days since last activity, or you could actually combine the, the two with the formula and have it be days since last activity or update. If you're confused about the difference between last activity and last updated, last activity refers to any tasks that have been completed that are related to that lead, and last updated or last modified is talking about the lead record itself. When was that last edited or a field value changed on that lead? The output for this formula will be a number, and we don't need any decimal places for this. I'll change that to zero, and then click next. Click insert field, and then you'll get this list of all of the fields on that lead object. And the one that I'm looking for is last modified date. You can see it right here, but you should also see right above it, last activity date. For my purposes, I'm just gonna use last modified, and I'll click insert. What you can do then is add the function for today. And you could do today minus, and then the last modified date. One thing to know is that the last modified date is actually a date time field, not just a date field. So this will give us an error because you can't subtract a date time from a date. They need to be the same data type. What I'm gonna do to correct this is convert that last modified date from a date time value into a date value. Do that with the function date value, and then just wrap that around the last modified date and there we go, check syntax, great. So what we have is today minus the date value of the last modified date, and that's gonna give us a number. Click next, click next again, and I'm gonna add this field to the layout. You don't have to add it to the layout, but it's just helpful when you're trying to debug it. First step is let's see if that worked. Let's take a look at a lead. If we look at this lead for Jeff Glimpse, here's our formula right here on the left, and it says 63. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the last modified date was February 14th, so about two months ago. Now that we know how many days it's been since it was last modified, we can create a flow for whenever this number goes above seven, or however many days you'd like before you send out an email reminder. Go into the setup menu and then bring up the flow menu to create our flow. Click new flow in the upper right, and then select schedule triggered flow, and click create. Now you could get the same outcome by using a record triggered flow that had a scheduled path, so when that record was updated, we have a scheduled path of so many days after that last modified date, and then it sends the email. I like scheduled triggered flows a bit more because I think it's a little bit easier to see the logic for what we're going for. And you also don't have to go back and then trigger all of the records by editing them. First thing we need to do is set the schedule. So I'll just have the, the start date be tomorrow, but it could also be in the past, it doesn't really matter. And then for the time, I want this to go out in the morning. So we'll go with 8.30 a.m. I'm gonna have this go out daily, but you also have the option to have this go out weekly. Maybe you wanna give them a couple days to update that lead record instead of sending them an email reminder every single day until it's updated. Then click done. Under choose object, 
the object we're interested in is a lead. And now we can set our criteria. So this is where we can choose our new formula field. Days since modified is greater than seven or whatever number you would like. Then click done. And now we can add a new action to send an email. I'm just gonna search for send in this element area and the action for send an email pops up. This is the simple email action. Let's call this send email reminder to lead owner. And now we can set the body, the subject, and then we can choose what email address we wanna send this email to. We could use a collection here, or we could use a comma separated list of email addresses. I'm gonna do comma separated here. And under values or resources, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can see that we have this global variable, this record here, which is the lead that matched our scheduled trigger. The thing about scheduled triggered flows is it's essentially a record triggered flow that runs for multiple records. Once you get comfortable with record triggered flows, all of those lessons apply directly to scheduled triggered flows. So I'm gonna choose our global variable for lead here. Go to the owner, we have an owner ID. And then from the owner ID, I wanna pull in that email address. We can also add a body and a subject. For the subject, I'm just gonna put overdue lead. And for the body, you can select here, click to create a new resource. And under new resource, I'd recommend choosing a text template. Let's call this email body. And you have this rich text area for you to write out your message to the salesperson. You can insert merge fields from that lead record, like the lead's name as an example, and any other details that you might want to include. You can add bold, you can add images. You've got a lot of options here. Then click done when you're happy with the body of your email. And make sure you come down here to rich text formatted body. Go ahead and toggle on that parameter and then choose true. I'm gonna hit done. Every day at 8.30, the scheduled flow is going to look for leads that have more than seven for days since modified. It's gonna send that owner an email message to remind them to reach out. What I would recommend here though, is to actually add some additional conditions on the trigger for the scheduled flow so that you're not sending this out for every single lead. For example, we probably wanna limit it to just certain statuses. So say only if the status is in working and it's been seven days, would we wanna send out that message? You can make these conditions even more strict by say, maybe the priority has to be high as well. Click save. I'll call this lead owner reminder. Hit save. Now let's debug it. Click debug. And whenever you debug a scheduled triggered flow, it runs that parameter, those first conditions, to find a record that meets them. And then it does the debug on just that one record. Looks like we don't have any errors, which is good. You can see how the interview started. It did find a lead. Here's the ID for that lead. And then it did send an email. And the email body was, you forgot this lead, Patricia Feger, in this case. And you can see that it sent the email to an email address from the owner of that lead, exactly what we were looking for. And that's it. When you're ready to turn this on and start sending out email reminders to your salespeople so that they don't forget leads, just click activate. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, take a look at our playlist of automation of the week videos. There's probably quite a few flows that you'll find useful there as well. Thanks for watching.